okay, we're back. <laughs> um, I hope that teaching for, is as good for you as it was for me. Because it's what I went through for 10 weeks. And it, it, it really lived for me while I was there. Anybody got something they want to share, talk about? No, I mean, I think it's amazing, Don. As <laughs> far as, I mean, that scripture, I mean, how many, we used to say it to our kids all the time, I can do, we have a song, then we have a song, I yes. can do all things. Yeah, yeah can do it all things. Yeah, and uh, it's... The arrogance in which we understood that at one time compared to what we have available to us now to know that it's actually Christ in him <laughs> and the strength that he has. It's it's no matter what the situation right. I, and what you've gone through in the last six to eight weeks and uh, standing faithful, my hat's off to you, brother. We love you very much. And I love you guys, too. I ah. missed you so much. Okay, let's not get all emotional here. Oh, come on now. That's where the harder things are. <laughs> no, you were successful. Because yes, I was. at that trial, you're still believing God. So that means you were successful. Yep. Just right. like... Paul spent five years in a prison and came out and got back on his horse and rode. And you, and you've exemplified, yep. but absolutely. Well, we've all done that. We've we've all gone. You know, just because I went through something like this, it doesn't mean it's more important than the pain you have. I mean, each and every one of us has to stand through the pain. Just what Paul was talking about there. I know abundance, and I know how to be hungry. I know how to, you know, do this. No matter what's going on, I can still be thankful, because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Yeah. And because of that, we've been born again. Yeah. If I think about that every time, I think about all the crap Dana has to put up with, and she still stands on the word <laughs> just by being around me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh that hard, Alan. <laughs> well, you know, we, we all go through hard things in life. Everybody does. That's life. But we have the hope. We have the Word. We have Christ in us. And some people don't have that. And it's really, I don't know what it would be like to live like some people do when they have such difficulties to deal with and no hope, and they don't understand anything about God or not very much and, and don't know what Christ really did for them. That's, you know, I can't imagine that. Yeah. I'm glad That's I don't have to. <laughs> Amen. Yes. I recently uh, experienced a couple that I just dearly love and have looked to because they have they were so many godly principles, but they are born again believers from knowledge. Maybe they are. But uh, is their aging and going through their trials and tribulations, not being able to help one another? It was quite obvious that that's where I was. And I mean, probably still am on some days or some moments without God and without hope. Because they had nothing to look forward to. Nothing. It was just very sad. The end of life. Yeah. yeah. To go out. <laughs> we came for monkeys. And uh, I don't know. Just really sad. It made me uh, very thankful for what we have been given and heard. And not only just heard, but... Our ears were open and our eyes were open and we are still hungered and desired for that truth and for the love uh, to grow 
within Christ and to help God get this world done or to be good kids. <laughs> Just be good kids. For Even God. though I will say this, this last weekend we had the children and grandchildren over for Father's Day and I'm reconsidering this monkey issue. There might be something to that, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That reminds me of Romans 5. I was just reading it again. You'd think I'd get out of Romans one of these days. No. There, was three things. Romans and yeah. there were three things. Uh, we were uh, without strength. We were uh, in our sins. And we were enemies. That's a, That was the before. That was three things in chapter 5 of Romans in the context of what we're talking about here things that we should we should be so very thankful for without strength now <laughs> I thought about this verse because there's people who do weightlifting and martial arts and they're very strong but it's the word says it's we were without strength and that without str of course we understand it from a spiritual point of view being without spirit, there you don't have strength from a spiritual point of view. <laughs> we couldn't fight the devil. We could not wrestle against principalities and powers. That's what it's talking about from a spiritual point of view. Without strength, we were dead in our sins. <laughs> Thank God. And it, it helps us to be thankful to think about that because of what we have now all of these great things that God has given us through Christ by his grace that's those are things to be thankful for yeah our hope I'll be glad when I get my new body I won't have this ringing in my ears <laughs> I, I won't have to use glasses about something something John taught I, I don't remember if it's in one day with the Creator or if it was just during a teaching, and he, he was saying that, um, you know, if, if you had to fight Mike Tyson, uh, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't want to do that. But at least I can see Mike Tyson coming at me. With the devil, if you don't have spiritual understanding, you're never going to see him come at you. But he will, and he will knock you on your rear end and knock you out every time. That's what spiritual understanding can do for you or for me. Yeah, you don't like Mike Ty fighting Mike Tyson, but at least you can see him coming. Without those yeah. spiritual eyes, you'll never see the devil. Because he is, got, you know, Jesus Christ arrow. exposed. <laughs> what was that, Mike? The devil will bite more than your ear off. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wasn't that Tyson that did that bit a guy's ear off? Yeah, he did. <laughs> What did Jesus Christ do? He picked up the air and put it back on. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, but uh, even uh, that scripture of I can do all things, you know, Christ who strengthens me. Even when we had it, you know, messed up, I know that when I said it, it brought my mind back to Christ and who strengthens me. Yeah, well, it's, but to be taught, I can do all things, you know. No, like you said, no, we can't go catch that football or we can't hit the home run or we can't. There are some things, but it's according to the word. Right. And that's what we can do. We can have a whole jar full of mustard seeds, not just one. Well, not only that, the whole the, the biggest premise on that is that no matter what the situation is, 
we still have Christ. Right. No matter what. Right. Abasing, abounding, hurting, uh, I mean, living, dying, I mean, nothing, oh, Romans 8, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing. That's, right. that's the mindset. That's a beautiful mindset because we all we all go through some horrible horrible things and, and uh, now, doesn't it say uh, where is it that says it the uh, the power is in the scripture is that Romans someplace I think did you say Romans uh, yep and it say uh, some place it says something about the power is in the scripture. I can't remember the verse. Hmm. Can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'll be embarrassed that. if it's in Romans. <laughs> well, I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, Ah. You can't remember a phrase? It's like what Martin Luther was talking about. I know Matthew 22, when Jesus Christ is confronting the Pharisees, he says, uh, uh, the, uh, you err... Because you don't know the scriptures or the power of Nor God. Nor the power of God, yeah. There we go. There it is. Yeah. <clears throat> I know there's a principle. You know, Jesus used uh, the phrase, it is written three times and knocked the shit out of the devil mm. in two different occasions. Yeah. Step inside, spinning roundhouse up inside his head, a flying sidekick. Even the part you said, Don, about in Hebrews two, about the devil having the power of death. Right. And uh, and I was uh, talking about that today with my daughter. Romans 1, 16. Hmm. For it's I, the power of God unto salvation. Yeah, I okay. Am, yeah. I am not ashamed the gospel. of the gospel. Yeah, the gospel. Yeah, the go he, there it is. Yeah, you got I told you I'd be embarrassed if it was <laughs> in Romans. <laughs> For that gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. Good. Romans what? One. One. Romans what? Romans chapter one, verse sixteen. Context is the gospel. Yes, sir. And if you, it's Christ who strengthens us. We we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We have Christ in us. Coupled with the gospel. Yeah. So he brings the word to our remembrance. We use the word to kick butt, take names later. It's it's like in the class where John's talking about faith. Faith is trust. And he says, well, you know, the Bible doesn't just say trust God. It's, well, okay, trust God. Well, give me something to trust. Give me a promise. So I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We have all these promises in the scriptures. Or he'll whisper in our ear something to do or say. Or That's where the strength, that's where the power is. And... Without Holy Spirit, we're weaklings, and it's it all fits together. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. 
my mind was just running crazy there. I trying to fit all that together. Yeah, well, we really like to have a word that actually says power in the scriptures, but this is sufficient. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know what you were you know, all through the talking about. Bible, that, that. Mm -hmm. All through the Bible, the when God spoke and the prophets listened and acted accordingly, big, big, big things happened always. And the biggest one that comes to my mind is the activities of Moses when they were in Egypt. Moses was a nobody. I mean, he, well, I mean, he wasn't a nobody, but I mean. He was as power as favor, as powerful as Pharaoh, but the word of God that he spoke was way more powerful than Pharaoh. Amen. The power is in the scriptures, or the power is in the words of God. Like we, yeah, Don, I know what. We were talking about before when you were talking about how things, you know, you think about a whole bunch of them, it all is knitting together. And it's just forming a, a, a coherent thing, I mean, that, you know, is greater than just the verse itself. Because all these other scriptures are tying into it, and uh, it, it was like when I was putting this teaching together, with the, the idiom of permission, the uh, <coughs> um, the um, work together in in the word, and you know, keeping context on things like. Is it, uh, especially keeping the context of is this uh, doctrine reproof or correction? Because if it's reproof, then you have to take a you know you can't just say well uh, we're not supposed like that verse we I went over about the women you know that it's proper for the women to keep silent in the church. Well, guess what? It also said like I said that the women contended with Paul. To, to get people to uh, come to Christ. And, you know, it, it's just seeing all this stuff start, you know, working together and see how it all fits. It, it's just awesome when it happens. All right, so has anybody got a, else got something they want to say? Otherwise, we'll just uh, call an end to this, and uh, we'll see them next week. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to end the broadcast then. So, Mike, did you want to say something? No, sir. Hi. Okay, I thought I saw your mouth move. Dana. What was that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Welcome back, Don. We Go love you. <laughs> Great, nice looking shirt. I love you. <laughs> looking sharp there. I love you. Your words were awesome. I love you guys too. We are pretty mm -hmm. I love I you, love you guys God too. Bless. Have an Amen. awesome week. We'll see you next Monday. <laughs> see you guys next Monday. Have a good one. <laughs> Can I get some applause? No, See you applause. next week. My, my applause is sleeping. <laughs> Let's see what's now. There we go. Next All right. Week. God bless you guys. God bless you.